Hi everybody, Sasha again here for Orchestra Tools with the second video walkthrough of Berlin Percussion. Uh, this time we're gonna cover the keys and mallets from Berlin Percussion. As you can see here we have a celeste, a vibraphone, marimba phone, xylophone, crowtails, a glockenspiel, which is basically the former library, the glock now integrated in Berlin Percussion, a set of two tubular bells and a very nice and rare set of cowbells. So let's start with the celeste. There are two articulations. I have loaded the multi here and I'm gonna play something for you. You might notice I again played a little bit with the microphone balance so you can have a very close up and intimate sound and also very roomy and ambient and everything in between by balancing uh, those microphone positions here which is especially handy with the auto gain feature as the overall volume always stays the same when you fiddle around here. So those are the sustains and then we also have a staccato articulation. Also to note, it might be obvious, but I just wanted to throw this out there. Everything you hear in all those uh, videos about Berlin Percussion, all those live uh, walkthrough videos, is completely dry out of the box with the microphones here. So there's nothing processing added to it, no reverb, no EQ. It's basically what you hear is what you get with the library. And also the whole library itself is recorded in the most natural way possible so uh, during the recordings there were no um, processing elements like equalizers or uh, compressors or such things involved it's only the microphones the preamps and the digital converters of course and this applies to all of the instruments all drums all mallets and metals and such so basically you get the raw natural sound of the instruments the room and the microphones. So before we move on to the other mallets, uh, just let me play for you a little montage of the session footage we have for those instruments.
back again in the sample world. Now let's take a look at the vibraphone. Here we have quite a bunch of articulations. I will play through most of them and uh, show you how they sound. So those were the normal sustains played with normal mallets and without any vibrato. We also have staccato for those mallets. The next one is the soft mallets, again without vibrato. Now for the vibrato we have uh, two different levels. We have the slow and uh, the fast vibrato. I think the slow vibrato is played with the soft mallets and the fast with the, with the normal mallets. So this is no artificial vibrato which was added later in, in contact or with any effects. It is uh, really recorded with the instrument. Then we have the tremolo with mod wheel dynamic control and some glissandos and effects. Okay, so let's move on to the marimba. For me personally, this is the most beautiful of all mallet instruments. And yeah, let's listen how it sounds in Berlin percussion. So those were the signal hits on normal and with the normal and soft mallets. Uh, just wanted to mention here we have for the soft mallets, for example, five dynamic layers and quite a bunch of round robins and the same applies for the normal mallets. So all this stuff is really sampled quite deeply. Another thing I want to talk about here is this close microphone position here in the mixer. 
Um, let me solo that for a moment and maybe we play back the the first part with the normal mallets again. So um, you can hear that this microphone position sounds quite close but also has a lot of room and ambience in it. And um, basically the, the idea behind this close microphone, and this is uh, again, uh, this applies to all instruments in burn percussion, is like a second main microphone. So the tree, the main tree, uh, is in the same position as within a standard orchestra orchestral recording, so it's quite far away from the percussion section, which is in the back of a stage. So you might not want to have this tree sound. Let me again play something for you so that you can hear it soloed. So this is really far away and really with much ambience, which is absolutely beautiful, but but may not be suitable for every application. For example, if you don't want to use those instruments in an orchestral context, but more in a chamber band or jazz or whatever uh, environment, you can still use the library, but then you maybe don't use the tree as your main microphone, but the close instead. So this microphone position gives you a very good balance between a closed sound and the ambience of the room. And then you have the spot, which is obviously very, very close. And then as an alternative, or to add or mix in, again, we have this uh, mid-side microphone configuration here, which also sounds awesome on its own. So, and the best thing with this is uh, if you have a mid-side processor in your DAW, you can really manipulate how this sounds. You can make it more wider. It is pretty wide at the moment even, but you can make it even more wider or you can push it more to the mid and then pan it or whatever. So uh, now let's reset this configuration a bit and move on to the next part of the marimba. We've heard the soft and the normal mallets. Let's turn to the hard mallets. Now, beside the regular tremolo, which is played with the soft mallets, we also have a little special bonus articulation um, played with hard mallets, but actually sounds quite soft. This is really um, something special. <laughs> we, we didn't really anticipate uh, this sound to come out of uh, that articulation, but uh, take a listen to a single note first. find that quite magical and now when we maybe make the sound a little more ambient oh, not too loud and 
play something completely impossible to play for one percussionist at the marimba, it turns out like this. Okay, so now let's move on to the Crotalis. They are also pretty straightforward. We have single hits, single hits stopped, which are dampened after a few seconds, then muted, and um, very typical for the instruments, uh, also bowed. Okay, next one is the Glock or Glockenspear, which you may already know from the previous library. It also has a bunch of articulations. I will just play through them. Uh, you will instantly hear uh, what's going on there. So we basically have uh, three different mallets, soft, normal and hard ones, and uh, different sustained short notes and also some effects going on. The next instrument is the tubular bell set, which is quite neat here because we uh, got the opportunity to record one of those rather rare two octave tubular bell sets. So you really have from F3 to F5, two full octaves. Here we have soft and hard mallets and uh, also staccatos.
The next one in our list uh, are the cowbells, which are also quite special, I think, because we got a set of two octaves of cowbells. You already saw them earlier in the little video snippet. So you can really play them as a mallet instrument if you like, and you not only have two or three of those bells rather untuned um, as an effect percussion. So let me pull up the multi here. And uh, by the way, the way how Berlin percussion is organized, you have this folder structure here. We already had opened the whole time and this time the multis and single patches are not separated from each other in different uh, structures like you may be familiar with in the other orchestral tools libraries. The reason is that there are no multi patches for every instrument. They are only created for instruments uh, which actually make good use of a multi patch because they have uh, multiple articulations and stuff. So this time they are within the usual instruments folder so just for you to know that you don't get confused so but you again you have this multi-patch like i have here with all the articulations but you can also load them individually if you want So if you're ever gonna write something alpine, you definitely need those. Okay, so the last instrument in the mullets folder is the xylophone. Here we have single hits with many, many, many round robins and also quite a lot of dynamic layers, tremolos and different glissando effects and stuff. Uh, again, let me simply play something on it for you. So that's it for the mallets and keys. Thank you for watching and hope to see you on the next video.